And good morning and welcome back to Phoenix, Arizona. This is Bill Kellick with USABA bringing you Day 3 Championship Sunday from the Ability360 Sports and Fitness Center here in Phoenix, the USABA Southwest Regional. We have six games on tap today. We'll start off with the two women's semifinals. Then we'll get into the men's bronze medal game, followed by the men's gold medal game. And we'll finish up with the women's bronze and gold medal games. Our first competition features the women's semifinal between the Maryland Minx and the team from Texas. The second semifinal will be Code Blue versus Ohio. Looking ahead to the men's medal matches, which are already set. Men's bronze medal will be between the New York and Maryland Panthers and the Texas Rattlesnakes. And the gold medal game between the Manicores and the Seattle King Cobras. Once again, all this is the first of four regionals on the docket right now. The next one will be February 3rd through the 5th in Vancouver, Washington. That's the Northwest Regional. The Northeast Regional will be in Westmont, New Jersey, April 14th through the 16th. And the Southeast Regional in Smyrna, Georgia, June 2nd through the 4th. And this all leads to our national championships in September in Fort Wayne, Indiana at the Turnstone Center, the official U.S. Olympic and Paralympic training site. So we're 15 seconds away from the buzzer and from the action starting here in Phoenix. Starting lineups for the team closest to the camera, the Maryland Minx. Looks like we'll have Bridget Cassidy on the left wing, Brianna Pumphrey at center, Siobhan Lockhart on the right wing. And Texas will counter with number seven, Macy Gonzalez on the right wing, number four, Libby Doherty at center, and Miriam Larson on the left wing. Siobhan Lockhart starts things off. Gap shot. Oh, that almost got through. Libby Doherty pinned it under her arm. Keeps it from going out. Doherty back down. Stopped by Cassidy and Pumphrey. And Pumphrey will take this one. From the center. Throwing towards the post. Off the post and in. And the Maryland makes first on the board. Goal from Brianna Pumphrey. Puts the Minx out in front, one to nothing. Macy Gonzalez rolls it down, that one is stopped. By Pumphrey, Siobhan Lockhart now from the right wing, bouncer towards the center. Libby Doherty there to make the save. Doherty now, bouncing, looking for the gap. Cassidy slides over, blocks it towards center. Pumphrey scrambles out on her knees to find it. Throws it back to Cassidy on the left wing. Cassidy down. Blocked out by the center, Doherty. Macy Gonzalez will take it for Texas. She'll throw it from the right wing to the far post. Kicked out by Lockhart. This one is rolling towards center. Pumphrey trying to find it. It's going to go out of bounds. Ball over to Texas. Macy Gonzalez now from the right wing for Texas. She'll try for that far post again. Lockhart there to save it with her legs. Passes it back to the center. Pumphrey, Brianna Pumphrey down the middle, blocked by Libby Doherty. Doherty, quick return throw, back down the center, popped up by Pumphrey, passes it over to the left wing. Bridget Cassidy finds the left post, spins, throws. Straight down, blocked by Gonzalez.
Macy Gonzalez rolls it straight down. Bridget Cassidy there to make the stop. Center, Brianna Pumphrey with it now. Spinning, throwing straight down. Doherty there to make the stop for Texas. She'll... And we got a equipment check timeout. Two minutes gone here in the first half. One nothing is the score. Maryland in front of Texas in this women's semifinal. And we're ready to go here. It's going to be Miriam Larson from the left wing, throwing left-handed down the court. Gets by the center Pumphrey, but Bridget Cassidy backs her up. Cassidy spins, throws it towards the center, blocked by Doherty. Rolling out towards half court. Doherty can't find the handle before it goes out of bounds. Ball back over to Maryland. Ball dropped in, Siobhan Lockhart takes it for the Maryland Minx from the right wing. Big bounce ball towards the center, diving stop by Doherty. Pats the ball, hands it off to Gonzalez on the right wing. <coughs> Gonzalez rolls it towards center, kicked, saved by Pumphrey. She finds it, drops it back to teammate Siobhan Lockhart on the right wing. She'll just throw it out of bounds. And ball will be back over to Texas. Miriam Larson now on the left wing. She's going to roll it towards center. Pumphrey there to make the stop. Hands it off to Cassidy. Cassidy from the left wing spins, throws. Smooth ball down the middle blocked by Libby Doherty. She'll find it towards midcourt, passes it back to Gonzalez, but it's going to go out of bounds. Gonzalez couldn't find the handle on that pass, a little off target. Ball over to Maryland. And switching wings now, the Minx, Lockhart on the left. She'll throw it from there, bounce ball down the middle, pops off a Doherty, and that's going to go in. Siobhan Lockhart makes it 2-0 Maryland. ball perfectly placed now Larson trying to respond for Texas rolls it down from the left wing straight down to Cassidy makes the stop Cassidy spinning from the right wing now throw oh but a high ball is called on Bridget Cassidy tried to throw it right wing straight down so chance for Texas to get on the scoreboard here and it's going to be Libby, looks like Libby Doherty, Bridget Cassidy to defend. Cassidy's gonna stand up in the center. Doherty, quick off the whistle. Oh, but a premature throw by Libby Doherty. And that'll negate that penalty throw. Lockhart now with it, looking for the far post. That goes wide. Larson with it for Texas on the left wing. Miriam Larson rolling it cross court. Blocked by Lockhart. Pumphrey the center has it. <coughs> She'll throw it down towards the right post. Miriam Larson there. And Texas will call a timeout with 5.58 to go in the first half. Maryland up 2 to nothing. First goal scored by Brianna Pumphrey and then Siobhan Lockhart tallied the second one.
and we're quick off the whistle, Liberty Doherty from the center, straight down, blocked by Pumphrey. Hands it off on the right wing to Bridget Cassidy, spinning, throwing straight down. There's Miriam Larson there to make the stop. Larson with it now, left-hander throwing down the center, blocked by Pumphrey. Hands it off to the left wing and Siobhan Lockhart. Big bounce ball down the middle, diving stop by Doherty. Doherty backs up, throwing it straight down the middle. Pumphrey there to make the stop for Maryland. Pumphrey spins, throwing for the right post. Pushed out of bounds by Larson with her hands. That was a good shot by Pumphrey. That would have gone in had Larson not been there to deflect it out. Larson now hands it to Macy Gonzalez on the right wing. Gonzalez looking for the gap shot, but Pumphrey blocks it with her hands, hands it off to Lockhart. Lockhart straight down the middle. Doherty got over to block that one, rolls out of bounds. Ball dropped in to Gonzalez as we're under five minutes to go here in the first half. Gonzalez cross court, Cassidy there to make the stop. She'll stand up, back up to the net. Spins, throws, looking for the gap. Stopped by the feet of Doherty. She'll gather it in near the high ball line, throw it back to Larson. Larson now rolling it straight down the middle. Pumphrey and Lockhart combined to make the stop. Lockhart with it now, big bounce ball down the middle. Doherty right there. Quick return throw, stopped by Lockhart. Over to the center, Pumphrey backs up to the net. Spinning, throwing towards the right side. Miriam Larson there to make the save. Larson, left-hander, throws it straight down. Oh, it pops off the feet of Pumphrey and over Cassidy. And Texas is on the scoreboard on a goal by Miriam Larson, making the score two to one. Marilyn looking to respond. Cassidy down, stopped by the feet of Doherty. She'll take it from her center position, backing up to the net. Doherty looking for the right post. Lockhart stretches out to make the save. Lockhart now from the left post. Left winger, bounce, big bounce ball down the middle. Doherty with the block, rolling towards the high ball line. She finds it, throws it out of bounds. And the ball will go over to Maryland. 3.39 to go, first half. Maryland switching wings once again. Lockhart over on the right wing. Cassidy moves over to the left. Lockhart straight down, popped into the air by Larson, but her and Doherty combined to keep it out of the net. Now Larson responding, up, down, stopped by Lockhart. Lockhart towards the middle. Libby Doherty right there, hands it off to the right wing, Macy Gonzalez. Gonzalez down towards center, kick saved by Pumphrey. She finds it at the high ball line, throws it back to Cassidy on the left wing. Spinning throw, Cassidy smooth ball down the... Pushed out of bounds by Gonzalez, and because she saved it, pushed it out, it'll go over to Maryland. Just under three minutes to go here in the first half. Virana Pumphrey now for Maryland, spinning throwing towards the right post and that is stopped by Miriam Larson. Larson now straight down, kick saved by Pumphrey. She'll hand it off to Siobhan Lockhart on the right wing. Big bounce ball towards the gap, gets by Doherty but backing up is Gonzalez. Doherty now with it, looking for the equalizer here, looking for the post and kicked out by the toe of Lockhart into the bench area. Ball dropped in to Siobhan Lockhart on the right wing for Maryland. Lockhart going down the line, but that's about two feet wide of the post. Ball dropped in to Larson. Miriam Larson from the left wing, throwing towards center. Blocked by Pumphrey. Hands it off to the left wing, Bridget Cassidy. 
Cassidy now spinning, throwing, cross. Oh, she found a gap. Brid Bridget Cassidy with her second goal. That's her first goal, actually. Pumphrey had the first one. So, three to one, Maryland. All three players have scored for the Minx. With 2.06 to go. As Macy Gonzalez is stopped by Lockhart. Humphrey passes it back to Cassidy. Cassidy straight down. That one's pushed out of bounds by Gonzalez. Ball to the center now. Cassidy throwing it down the right side. It pops up off of Larson but goes out of bounds. That one was a little trouble. But stayed out of the net. Now Miriam Larson rolling it down the po the sideline, but that's out of bounds. Ball into Lockhart. 3-1 lead for Maryland here with a minute and a half to go in the first half. Lockhart saved by Doherty. Libby Doherty now with it, rolling it down the middle, blocked by Pumphrey. Balanced scoring here for Maryland. One goal apiece by all three starters as Brianna Pumphrey spins, throws it down the middle, blocked by Doherty. Quick return throw, blocked by Pumphrey. Hands it off to Lockhart on the right wing, who moves, she moves to center now. Throwing it, bounce ball, looking for the gap, but Doherty slides over, kicks it out of bounds. Ball dropped into Miriam Larson. Larson rolling it down the center, blocked by Pumphrey. Hands it off to Cassidy. Cassidy spinning, throwing straight down from the left wing. Gonzalez with the stop and pushed out. Several times now, Gonzalez has made the stop and then pushed the ball out of bounds, so it goes back over to Maryland instead of being blocked out. So now Pumphrey for Maryland. Throwing it down the middle, stopped by Doherty. Doherty hands it off to Larson with 40 seconds to go in the half. Larson, cross court. Cassidy lays out to make the save. She'll take it herself. Finds the left post. Down the line, Gonzalez with a save there, corrals it. 20 seconds to go, has Macy Gonzalez from the right wing. Throws it towards center, blocked by the legs of Pumphrey. She'll find it at the high ball line, pass it back to Siobhan Lockhart. Ten seconds remain in the half. Lockhart straight down, Miriam Larson right there. And an equipment check with 3.3 seconds to go. See if Texas can get one shot off here before the buzzer. Ball dropped in to Miriam Larson. Quick off the whistle, ball down the middle, blocked by Pumphrey, and that'll do it for the first half of this women's semifinal number one, the Maryland Minx. Three to one lead into the halftime break. We'll be back with the second half in just a minute.
And we're back with the second half action. Texas starting with the ball, down by two goals, three to one. As Libby Doherty will begin for Texas. She'll move from her center spot to the left wing, throwing it cross court, looking for that right post. Diving stop by Bridget Cassidy. Siobhan Lockhart with it now for Maryland. Maryland's right winger, bounce ball, stopped by Larson. Gathered in by Doherty. Maryland got balanced scoring in the first half. Goal apiece from Brianna Pumphrey, Bridget Cassidy, and Siobhan Lockhart. Here's Larson, the lone goal scorer for Texas, rolling it down. Stopped by Lockhart, quickly down the middle, blocked by Doherty. Libby Doherty up with it, rolling it towards the right side, blocked by Cassidy. Cassidy backs to the net, spins, throws it cross court. Stopped by the feet of Doherty, hands it off to the right wing, Macy Gonzalez. Gonzalez down, blocked by Pumphrey, or I'm sorry, blocked by Cassidy. She hands it over to Pumphrey. Brianna Pumphrey spins, throws it out of bounds, just past half court. Ball into Miriam Larson's, rolling it straight down, blocked by Lockhart. Siobhan Lockhart from the right wing, throwing it towards center, blocked by Libby Doherty. Quick return throw, down the middle, pops up off of Pumphrey, gathered in by Cassidy. She'll hand it back to Pumphrey at center. Spinning, throwing, blocked by Doherty. Oh, we got a 10 second penalty call on Maryland though. That was close, but Texas chance here to get within one as Libby Doherty will take the throw against Brianna Pumphrey. Doherty slips as she throws it. And oh, unfortunate for Doherty as she's going for the far post but slipped. And she's going to need a little medical attention here as the coach comes out to check on her. Um, let's see if she can continue. She's on her feet now. Hard to tell if it was the, her arm she fell on or whether it was an ankle, but she's laughing about it now. Hope, looks like she's okay to continue. And they're gonna make sure that spot on the floor is dry. Just a minute and a half into the second half. No scoring here in this half. Three to one lead for Maryland in this first semifinal. Looks like Doherty's ready to go. And it'll be Bridget Cassidy from the left wing for Maryland. Throws it straight down, blocked by Doherty. She'll back up. Rolls it down, blocked by Cassidy. Gives it off to the center, Pumphrey. Brianna Pumphrey spins, throws it down, blocked by Libby Doherty. Miriam Larson now from the left wing going down the line. Sliding save by Lockhart, out of bounds. Now it'll be Lockhart from the right wing. Big bounce ball down the middle, blocked by Doherty. Passes it off to the right wing and Macy Gonzalez. Gonzalez down, blocked by Cassidy. She finds it, passes it over to the center. Brianna Pumphrey with it for Maryland. Spinning, throwing towards the right post and wide.
Miriam Larson takes it for Texas. Don't tries to go down the line, but that goes out of bounds at midcourt line. And now Cassidy and Lockhart will switch sides for Maryland. Cassidy over on the right wing will take this throw. Down the middle, blocked by Doherty. Doherty, quick return throw, gets just pushed out of bounds by Siobhan Lockhart. So Maryland has switched wings a couple times so far in the game. Texas has kept their alignment the same as Lockhart bounce ball off the feet of Doherty and rolls out of bounds. Ball dropped into Miriam Larson on the left wing. She'll throw cross court. Lockhart there to save it. Siobhan Lockhart big bounce ball heading for the corner and it's in. Siobhan Lockhart with a beautiful shot that got by Gonzalez. And it is four to one Maryland with 7.06 to play. Macy Gonzalez looking to answer, going for the gap, but Cassidy closes it up on the right wing. Bridget Cassidy spinning, throwing straight down, blocked by Larson. Larson passes it back to Libby Doherty at center. She'll throw it down the middle. Pumphrey there to make the stop. Turn shot by Cassidy goes wide. Now the throw by Larson down the middle, blocked by Pumphrey. Brianna Pumphrey spins, throws it towards off the post and in. What a shot by Brianna Pumphrey. Beautiful throw from the center position to the right post, off the post and in. Humphrey's second goal, it's five to one. Miriam Larson, Texas needs to respond here quickly, stay in this game. Larson rolls it down, stopped by Pumphrey, hands it off to the right wing, Bridget Cassidy. Cassidy throwing it, gap, blocked by Doherty. And timeout is called and granted finally for Texas with 6.04 to play as Texas has given up two goals here in the second half and fallen behind 5-1. to one. Coming up next will be the second women's semifinal. Code Blue takes on Ohio and then beginning at 9.30 local time 11.30 Eastern the men's bronze medal game. Panthers versus the Rattlesnakes at 10.30 local time, 12.30 Eastern is the men's gold medal game, the Manicores and the King Cobras. And that'll be followed by the women's medal games. Ready to go here again, Gonzalez from the right wing, there's a gap shot, oh that almost got through but the feet of Lockhart kept it out. Siobhan Lockhart, big bounce ball down that, oh just glances the post and out. Good shot by Lockhart as Maryland is aiming for those corners now. They found some success just inside the post. Gonzalez with it. Now she'll throw it cross court. Kick saved by Pumphrey. Hands it to Cassidy. Cassidy spinning. Throwing it straight down. There's Libby Doherty there to make the stop for Texas. Doherty now with it, throwing it down the middle. Pumphrey with the save. Hands it off to the left wing. And Siobhan Lockhart. Lockhart, big bounce ball cross court. That's going to go out of bounds. Neither team has made any substitution so far. Sticking with the three starters. Miriam Larson on the left wing. Rolling it, looking for that right wing gap, but blocked by Cassidy. Bridget Cassidy, bounce ball down the sideline, out of bounds. Ball dropped into Miriam Larson from the left wing, that left hander. Rolls it straight down, Cassidy makes the stop as we hit the five minute mark to go here in this semifinal. Brianna Pumphrey with it now, spinning, throwing, looking for the gap. 
combined stop by Doherty and Larson and kick back over the center line. So this will go back to Maryland as they switch wings once again. Lockhart coming over to the right side. Cassidy going to the left. So it's Lockhart from the right wing. Big bounce ball down the middle, blocked by Doherty. Hands it off to Macy Gonzalez on the right wing. Texas needs to find some offense here. Gonzalez cross court, blocked by Lockhart. Lockhart straight down, blocked by Larson. Rolls towards the high ball line, gathered in by Doherty, throws it back to Larson, cross court. Stretching out to make the save is Cassidy and Pumphrey. Cassidy finds the left post. She's gonna go try to go down the line and pushed out of bounds by Gonzalez. Ball dropped in to Macy Gonzalez. Cross court shot, stopped by the legs of Lockhart. Four minutes to go. Lockhart passes it back to Pumphrey at center. She'll look to the gap and Doherty and Gonzalez combined to knock it out of bounds. And here's Gonzalez straight down the line. Pushed out of bounds by Cassidy. Timeout for Maryland with 3.43 to play. 5 to 1 is the score. Been a chilly weekend here in Phoenix actually with temperature not getting out of the 50s. But we are inside on this Sunday morning here at the Ability 360 Center. Thanks again to Luke Rumbert and his staff for putting on this fantastic event. It's gone smoothly, everything on time. And the athletes have been well fed too. So here we go again. Lockhart bounce ball. Oh, long ball called on Lockhart. And Texas needs to take advantage of this penalty throw to stay in this game. And we have a, for the throw, we'll have a timeout to attend to Macy Gonzalez who is seated on the court talking to her coach. Not sure what happened. Might be holding her ankle. She's gonna need some assistance to stand up. And walking a little gingerly over to the bench. So it looks like Gonzalez will need to be substituted for, for Texas. And it will be uh, Brittany Breen will replace Macy Gonzalez. Looks like Libby Doherty may take this penalty throw against Siobhan Lockhart. All right, ready to go here. Big moment for Texas. They need to take advantage of this as Doherty rolls it down. It pops off of Lockhart, but out of bounds. Siobhan Lockhart with a big save for Maryland. They'll keep in control of this game. Five to one with 3.32 to play. As Doherty moves over to the right wing, and there's a shot by Lockhart cross court, stopped by Larson. Brittany Breen, who just checked in, will play center for Texas. Larson down the sideline, blocked by Cassidy. 
Bridget Cassidy spins, looking, pops up off of the center Breen, backed up by Larson. She'll pat the ball, hand it to Doherty. Libby Doherty now down the line, blocked by Lockhart. Equipment check on Miriam Larson as she has to adjust her eye shades. 3.03 to play. And ready to go now, it's going to be Bridget Cassidy, moves to the right, bounce ball out of bounds, ball dropped in for Texas, Miriam Larson has it, she moves from the left wing all the way to the right, throwing it left handed down the middle, blocked by Brianna Pumphrey, hands it off to Siobhan Lockhart. Lockhart from the left side, big bounce ball down, blocked by Doherty on the right wing. Doherty quick return throw, right back at Lockhart, she'll make the stop. Lockhart cross court, block pops over Larson, but backing up is Doherty to keep it out of the net. Doherty now tries to go down the right sideline, but that one's well out of bounds. And the ball dropped into Maryland. And they switch wings once again. Bridget Cassidy moves over to the left wing. She'll take this throw. Moving towards the middle, blocked by Brittany Breen. Gets to her feet. Rolls it down, blocked by Lockhart. Siobhan Lockhart, big bounce ball down the court. Ooh, trickles over Larson, but again, backing up is Doherty. She's been Johnny on the spot, two throws in a row, backing up there to keep the ball out of the net. And Texas will call a timeout with one minute and, well, the clock's still running. It was one minute, 50 seconds when the whistle blew. Clock shows 1.44 now. See if they put any time back on the clock. I don't know if the officials noticed that. The goal judge did, I think. Clock shows 1.44. 5 to 1 lead for Maryland. Yeah, we saw it too. And we're ready to go here again. Almost ready to go. Now we are, Texas with the ball, Miriam Larson from the left wing, rolls it down the middle, blocked by Pumphrey, hands it off on the left wing to Cassidy. Bridget Cassidy will spin, throw it down the middle, that one, ooh, gets through the gap, it's trickling, and kept out of the net by Larson. She's going to have to get it off quickly, throws it out of bounds. Siobhan Lockhart with it, 120 to play. Lockhart down, stopped by Breen. That one's gonna roll over half court and go back over to Maryland. Bridget Cassidy now spinning, throwing straight down. That one is blocked by Larson with one minute to play. Larson down the sideline, blocked out of bounds by Bridget Cassidy. Oh, and they're making wholesale substitutions for Maryland as they have six players on the roster. So three out, three in. It'll be Michaelia Lama, Tori Bounds, and Rebecca Lavasur all checking in for Maryland for these final 52 seconds. As they hold a four goal advantage.
And off the whistle, Rebecca Lavasseur throws it off the feet of Breen and out of bounds. Ball dropped in. Libby Doherty tests the right side. That one's blocked by Macalia Lama. Lama throws it straight back down, blocked by Doherty. Doherty, quick return throw, tries Lama once again, but she's there to make the stop. And Lama's return throw is going to travel out of bounds. 32 seconds to play. Doherty off the whistle, throws it towards the middle. Lava Sewer slides over, and that one's going to go out of bounds. Ball will be dropped into Maryland. And Macalia Lama with it. Rolls it slowly down the court. And it gets under Larson, but she reaches back to grab it. Throws it back down the court, out of bounds. 16 seconds remain. Maybe one more throw for each side. It's going to be Tory Bounds taking it for Maryland. From the right wing, rolls it cross court. And Doherty makes the save, stands up, seven seconds to go, throws it back down. Lava Sewer has a little trouble with it, but finds it. And that should do it. <laughs> Maryland will advance to play for gold later today at 2.30 Eastern. And Texas will advance to the bronze medal game at 11.30 local time, 1.30 Eastern. Congratulations, Maryland, for making it into the gold medal match. We'll find out who their opponent is shortly as Code Blue takes on Ohio. And I think we're going to have Thomas Rice take you through that semifinal. So we'll be back with that in just a minute.
Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to our second women's semifinal game today. My name is Thomas Race, and I will be taking you through this excellent game of goalball. On table left, we have Ohio, and on table right, we have Code Blue, otherwise known as Flota. The festivities will be getting in the next five seconds or so. The two rosters for these two teams. We will start with table right, code blue. We have Megan Jensen, Aaliyah Ferguson, Michael Clark, and Veronica Hyatt. Two, four, six, and eight. And for Ohio, we have Mindy Cook, Yahtzee Schumacher, Sarah Cowan, and Maribai Hooking. It looks like the women for Ohio will start with the ball today. And it looks like Mayor by Hooking will take the first throw of the game with a spin bouncer throw. It's going to be pumped forward by Veronica Hyatt, the right wing of Code Blue. She will take her first shot of the day. She's going to go for that gap shot here on the three of Ohio. Mayor by Hooking will pass it off to Mary Cook. She'll go with the smooth ball. Lots of top spin. Popped out of bounds off the left wing of Code Blue. If I'm not mistaken, that was Michael Clark. Hooking will take the ball. Going to go to gap to gap shot. It's going to be blocked by their center. She's going to go with a spin bouncer of her own. It's going to get right past the center, but great backup defense by Hooking. She's going to hand off the ball to Cook. Line up at her post. She's going to go with a line shot. Blocked. Looks like Clark will take the ball. It's blocked by Hooking. Who's going to go for the one post on Hyatt's side? It's going to be blocked out of bounds by the feet of Hyatt. 0-0 zero, zero affair so far as Hyatt moves to go into her gap. She's going to aim for the gap of Hooking. Who's going to block it and roll over to the right side. Cook is to the left now. Hooking takes the ball. G hits the 8 and it's going to be blocked out of bounds. Clark has the ball. Skipper blocked by number four, Schumacher. As she, as Cook takes the ball, gets the gap, and that's going to be a goal on Code Blue Ohio, scoring the first goal of the game, 1-0, with 8:21 here on the clock. As the center comes over to Hyatt, collects the ball. She rolls back to her five. Or her center, Mahash. Big bounce from her. It's blocked out of bounds by Cook. As Hooking hits about the two mark on Hyatt's side, she likes to take the ball herself. Sets up her shot. Cross gap, and it's going to be a high ball on number eight of Code Blue. That's Veronica Hyatt. So we have our first penalty of the game today. Let's see if Ohio can capitalize here. Hey, Coach Wallace, how you doing? As Hooking rolls to the right side. Alex to hit the seven, and it's going to be blocked by Hyatt. Ready and waiting. Great read and block by Hyatt. 
as he elects to take this ball right after the penalty. It's going to pop up off of number four, and she's going to hand it off to Cook, who rolls to Mary by side. Coming back around the front line, she's going to get set on her right hash mark. It's going to be blocked out of bounds by Hooking. Hooking rolls to the right side. Big bounce shot. It's going to go out of bounds at about the high ball line of Code Blue. Looks like Hyatt rolls over to Clark's side. Tries to get a little skip on it, but the court kind of ate the ball. As Schumacher hands it off to Cook, she's going to go for the line of Hyatt as it's blocked. And we have a goal from the center, Mega Gen Megan Jensen. She's going to get the gap in between Cook and Schumacher. As Maribai rolls over to that left side now. Very active rotating defense from the Ohio women. This time I've seen a lot of active defense. And it's, it's a technique that I used in high school. And I really enjoyed it. So I'm glad to see lots of teams using that. As Jensen with a nice block out of the six gap. As Clark will get her opportunity to throw out. It's blocked by Cook, who quick pitches the center. Jensen with a great block. She's going to move forward. I like to take it herself. Sets up a very quick shot. Very quick moving offenses this morning. As Hu King hits three gap. Jensen quick pitches. Cook will take the ball here. Takes her time with the shot. Hits the five gap blocked by the center who hands it off to Hyatt Hyatt out of her right wing goes to the line shot blocked Hooking quick pitches Hyatt excellent call as the ball bounces forward it's collected by Jensen the center of code blue she's going to roll over to the left side spin throw nice bounce ball off the hands of number four good recovery defense by Ohio Cook with the gap shot Excellent sweeping motion from the Ohio women. Hyatt. Cut gap shot. It's going to be blocked by their center Schumacher as she hands it off to Cook. Cook with a straight throw. A little bit of skip to it. As we have an official's timeout. As we have a team second penalty on the Ohio women. It's a very close call there. Could have gone either way. However, if that was not a 10 second penalty, that looked like a goal. Their center, number four, Schumacher, will be defending the ball. It looks like that Jensen has the ball. She's in the center, followed by Hyatt as Ohio's number four is in her center. Looks like Jensen goes for the nine post and it's gonna go out of bounds. As Hooking takes the ball, it is blocked by Jensen the center. Excellent feet. She goes with the big nice bounce ball and it's going to go right over Schumacher in the center Code Blue capitalizes there score is a 2-1 to one affair Code Blue with the lead as Cook rolls over to Hooking's side going to go with the quick ball blocked by Jensen he's going to go forward As we have a substitution here, it looks like that Michael Clark of Code Blue is coming out and Olya Ferguson is coming in. Uh, ooh, excuse me, ladies and gentlemen. 
Both these teams coached by the U.S. national team coaches. Uh, for the Ohio women, we have Coach Keith Young. And on the Code Blue side of things, we have Coach Jake. I'd like to take the time to thank the United States Association of Blind Athletes, or USABA, for putting on a wonderful tournament this year. And we can't wait to have many more with them. As Hyatt will take the ball from the right wing. Hyatt goes for the gap. Blocked by Hooking. Rolls over to the left side here. She's going to go with the straight down the line. One of her favorites I've seen this tournament. It's going to be blocked out of bounds by the outstretched feet of Hyatt. Hyatt. Blocked. There by quick fire. Pit, quick pitches Veronica. Good block from her. Cook with a good block. Hits the goal a little bit. We've all done that once or twice in the heat of the game. Pitches at Hyatt. Who's going to block it as we have an official's timeout? For unknown reasons. Whatever those reasons might be, the game resumes now. It looks like Jensen's going to throw here. Nice smooth ball. Blocked by number four, Schumacher. He's going to hand it off to Cook as four rolls to the left. Cook will throw it out of the center. Quick pitch from Jensen. It's going to go up and over number four. And that's going to be a go goal for Code Blue. The affair is now going to be three to one with... A little over four minutes on the clock. Absolutely love to see the comments section talking about this game. I love an interactive audience, guys, so I appreciate you. As we have a timeout here. As we're getting ready to get back into action. As play resumes, Hooking with the ball. It's going to go with the cut gap shot. It's going to bounce up and it's collected by Ferguson. Ferguson quick pitches, ball bounces over, and it's post out. No! You hate to hear those and see those. But those posts are definitely a high percentage shots, so those shots are definitely harder to hit. However, great block from Ferguson, and great ball thrown by Utah. As Ferguson will get another opportunity, spin throw, bounce ball, blocked by number four. I think Code Blue has figured out if they can bounce it over number four Schumacher, they might have a chance to go in. Very small frame. And I can relate as well being a small center myself, so. However, number four is fighting hard out there to block every ball possible, so kudos to her. As Ferguson will take the ball here. And it's a high ball. With a new ball, ladies and gentlemen, sometimes it can be very hard to hear those high balls as a spectator or even as a player. Like me commentating right now, I did not hear that one. However, visual judgment is a ref's best friend. As Hu King will have the shot, Ferguson will defend. Post out. Post ghost is what some of the players call it. You hate to hear those. As our crowd's beginning to get a little more lively here with 325 on the clock. Hey Nate, great to see you in the chat. As Hyatt takes the ball, it's going to be blocked by, looks like Cook, who's going to quick pitch that nine shot. Well covered by Ferguson. 
She tracked that ball and reacted very well to it. As Ferguson has the ball. Line drive blocked by number four, Schumacher. She's going to bounce the ball to Hooking. He's going to quickly get rid of the ball. Pass took a little longer than I think she wanted. As Hyatt will take the ball here. 2.51 on the clock. 3-1 to one game. Hyatt with a bouncer herself. I think that's the first we've seen for her. As we have an official's timeout. So it looks like some debris was on the court. So each team will get a full 10 seconds. I know this is a chess match between some of USA's finest coaches. As the ball's thrown out of bounds by Hooking. As Ferguson will take the ball, blocked in the gap by Cook. Hooking with active backup defense. Cook will hand it off to the, or excuse me, bounce it to the center. Schumacher who will throw and hit the gap. Ball is out of bounds. Closely followed by Hyatt chasing after the ball. Looks like Hyatt is going to take the center here. And it looks like Jensen's moving to the right wing. Very interesting wing switch from Code Blue. Can't wait to see what it does to the dynamic as Hyatt with a great defensive block. Hands it off to Jensen. Well, line drive. Collected by Cook, who hands it off. Ooh, no, keeps it herself. My apologies. Goes for that one post. It's going to be blocked out of bounds by Jensen. Referee rules it out, though, so it looks like Jensen will get a full 10 seconds. Uses about 4 seconds on the throw. Boxed by Schumacher. Hands it off to Hooking, who gets a nice skip shot. It's going to be blocked by Hyatt. As Code Blue calls another timeout here with 1.36 on the clock. If I'm both these teams here, I'm reminding Code Blue, hey, let's hold on to this lead, not let anything in, and just take our time with our shots. We're not in a rush. We're not down. Lots of goal ball left to play. If I'm Coach Young's side, I'm going over shot pattern, shot selections, and just reminding my team, hey, they're throwing lots of bounce balls. Just remember to play the bounce defense and just keep grinding away once they, they let that one shot in. Things, the dynamic can completely change for us. Offense sells tickets, defense wins championships, some say. So let's see how that applies to this game today. As Hyatt will take the ball. Out of bounds at the team line for Ohio. Cook will take the ball and hand it off to Hooking. Hooking will go for the line shot. Out of bounds at her high ball line. As the game resumes, Jensen will take the ball from her seven. Blocked. As the ball is blocked out of bounds, very little lateral movement on the ball for it to roll out of bounds. Thought Hooking had the control of it. As Cook with a hit at the seven for Ferguson. Bounces up and blocked as she throws one to Schumacher. Very slow reaction there. As Hooking will take her shot. Had about two seconds left to make that throw. 49 seconds left here on the clock. Jensen rolls to the right side here. Well, that looks like a high ball to me, but I am blind, so benefit of the doubt. As Hooking throws out of bounds, she started out and then came back in. Ferguson will have another opportunity here. Very speedy ball from Ferguson. It's collected by Cook. Hooking at the back center. Cook takes it. And it's blocked by Jensen. Jensen will get another opportunity to throw. Another smooth ball from her. 
We've seen Code Blue here at the later of the second half start going with more smooth shots. So let's see if they're trying to change up the tempo a little bit. Get them reacting to the smooth ball, then move back to the bouncers in the second half. As we have another bouncer from Code Blue here, collected by Cook. Hands it off to Hooking, who goes with her line shot. It's out of bounds at the Code Blue high ball line. As Hyatt will take the ball. Blocked by the center. It's popped up off her feet. Over the head of Hooking. And that's going to be a <laughs> halftime goal for Code Blue. Score is going to be 4-1 to one here. We'll be right back with you, ladies and gentlemen. After this halftime, score is 4-1. to one. Code Blue with the lead. We'll be right back in three minutes, ladies and gentlemen. All right, ladies and gentlemen, before this next half begins, I just wanted to let everyone know what the rest of the schedule is looking like today. So our next game after this is our men's Browns game. We have the Maryland Panthers versus the Texas Rattlesnakes. An exciting matchup for both these teams. Our men's gold is going to be the King Cobras versus the Manticores. A highly sought-after game today. And after that, we have the women's bronze. So far we have Texas will be facing the loser of this game. And the women's girl will be facing the winners against the Maryland Minx. And if you're curious, today's lunch is going to be Panera Bread. So we have about a minute 27 here on the clock. Yeah, Chase, that was an absolute great shot from her. As I should, checks are underway. Um, with our previous timeout, I'm going to reaffirm the same thing to my teams and just tell them, hey, stay focused. You're not out of it yet. There's a lot more time to play. As the gym gets eerie quiet here. We have substitution from Code Blue. Looks like Veronica Hyatt's coming out for Code Blue, and it looks like Michael Clark is coming back in. So we will see here what is about to unfold in this second half. As Code Blue will start this half with the ball. As look like. Let me get the camera app here, ladies and gentlemen, so I can see what number is in the center currently for Code Blue. However, in the meantime, Hooking has the ball. Bounce shot from Hooking. Blocked 
up and forward by Ferguson. Ferguson's going to go with the cross gap shot. It's going to be blocked by combination block between Schumacher and Hooking. Hooking goes for that line. It's going to go out of bounds. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so it looks like working from your left to right, it looks like Michael Clark, Jensen, and Ferguson. So Clark on the right wing throws the ball, blocked by Schumacher, who hands it off to Hooking, who hands it off to Cook. Cook will take the ball from the left wing and rove over back to her right. Ferguson will take the ball here. It's going to hit the five. And Schumacher hands it off to Cook. Cook will get the combination block between Jensen and Clark. And it's blocked out of bounds. As Clark will take the shot here. Blocked up and forward by Schumacher. Great backup defense from Hooking. Excuse me. Cook, I'm sorry. Ferguson will take the ball here. Going to hit the 8. Quick pitch from Hooking. Blocked by Ferguson. Ball pops up and forward. And it's going to be a ball over. Ohio's offense will get another opportunity to throw the ball. Hooking will take the ball from her 7. Bounce shot. Blocked by Jensen. And it goes out of bounds via a block. As Ferguson will take the ball on her post. Kind of a 13. Cook will take the ball. Blocked by Jensen. She goes up and forward. Saves the ball from the midcourt line. Gets it to Ferguson who quickly lets it go. Time running short. She might with the block. Hands it off to Hooking. Goes to their spin throw. Skipper. Blocked by Jensen. Quickly releases one. Being up here 4-1 with 750 on the clock. Um... Depends on Code Blue's sense of urgency of getting another goal, I would say here. Personally, I'd want to hold the ball for a little bit more, and that's what Ferguson does. Goes to the wind-up spin throw. Blocked by Ohio. Hooking with her line shot. Blocked out of bounds by the great feet of Clark. As Keith Young communicates some shots to his team for execution. Clark will take the ball here. Straight throw. Quick pitch from Hooking. Ball is out of bounds. So full 10 seconds for Code Blue here. Strong defense to begin the second half here. 7-14 on the clock. Scores 4-1. Jensen with her own spin throw. Test Hooking's defense. Dives for it and gets it out of bounds. Great defense from Hooking. Speaking of that, we have a wing switch. Hooking will go right now. Cook is in the left. Schumacher still in the center as Cook. As Ferguson pushing the ball out of bounds. Ferguson with the cross court. Out of bounds at about the team line for Ohio. As Hooking will take the ball from the left wing, rolls over to the right. Quickly lets one go for the gap. Blocked by Jensen. Trapped by her as well. Jensen will let the straight throw. Goes for that gap and great block from Cook who just kicks the ball into the crowd. As Cook will take the ball here. Skipper from her. 
bonked by Jensen and Ferguson. Ferguson is the one that goes up and get it. Quickly gets it off to Jensen who needs to pitch it and she does. Ball is up. Tries to go over the body of Schumacher but she's has great discipline and saves it. As Coach Keith Young likes to take a time out here. Just reminding the team how dangerous those skippers can be, especially with lots of topspin. Six nineteen on the clock here. Score still remains four to one. Same score from halftime. Looks like. Ohio is going to have Schumacher in the center. Hooking throws right off play. Blocked by Ferguson. They were all kind of huddled up in the middle there. Hoping to confuse the defense, I think. As Jensen with the block. Blocked by Cook. As Cook will take it out of the center. She clears out the center. Blocked by Jensen. Combination block of her and Clark. Clark will take the shot here gonna go with a 97 here or maybe a 98 actually yeah 98 as we have a ball pop over Clark it's gonna go in the goal in Ohio OHIO will get their next goal of the game F score is now 4 to 2 with 542 on the clock bounce ball from Jensen trying to get it back blocked by Schumacher bounce pass to who can Who's going to throw out of bounds very quickly? Ferguson with the ball here. Looks like she hits a 12. Blocked by Hooking. Cook there to support her. Bad shot from Hooking. Blocked by Jensen. Who's going to take her time with the shot? 5.16 on the clock and quickly counting down. Blocked by Schumacher, who hands it to Cook. Mindy Cook will take the shot here. Skipper tests the, her one post of Clark. Five minutes on the clock even. Clark takes her time with the shot. Blocked by Hooking, who's going to quickly let one go. It's going to go out of bounds in between the mid-court and high ball line of Code Blue. Ferguson will have the ball here. Takes half a step in. She's in her two. Big bounce ball. Hooking stood up and went right past her. As code, as code Blue will call a substitution here. Looks like Megan Jensen will come out. And Veronica Hyatt is coming in. With 4.46 on the clock here. Score is 5-2. to two. Code Blue giving some well-earned rest to Megan Jensen. Their center. Looks like Hyatt will take the point. As the game resumes. Cook with the ball. Bounce ball over Hyatt. Saved by Ferguson. Great active defense. She quickly lets one go. Blocked by Hooking. Beautiful line shot. Blocked out of bounds by Clark. What a beautiful block. Can't tell who has the ball. Looks like it's going to be Clark. Going to go with a line shot of her own. Blocked by Hooking. Backed up by Cook. It's going to go out of bounds at about the high ball line, I'd say. Hyatt rolls over to the right. Takes the ball from Clark. Very quick, smooth throw. As Hooking switches wings with Cook. Cook will take it from the left. Pops up and out of bounds off of Ferguson. Looks like she couldn't trap that one with how much topspin. 
as Ferguson will take the ball, bounce ball from her, blocked by Cook. She rolls over to the right side, and rolls back to the left, as she lets one go, ball pops up, Ferguson's feet, kind of scissor kicked it, and that's going to go in. This game is now slightly closer with a 5-3 to three Code Blue lead. Ohio's trying to close in here in the final 3 minutes and 50 seconds. As Clark will take the ball here, elects to go with the line shot again out at Ohio's high ball line. Three forty-three on the clock here. Cook will take the ball as she rolls to the right side of the court. Gonna go with the line shot, blocked by Ferguson. Ferguson will take her shot now. Ferguson hits the two. As Ohio calls the substitution. Schumacher is coming out. And it looks like Sarah Cowan will be making her first appearance of the game today. Coach Keith Young calls the substitution with 325 on the clock here. Hoping to change up the team dynamic a little bit. As the game will get underway here momentarily. If you're just tuning in, ladies and gentlemen, going to go over the next matchups of today. The men's bronze game will be following this game. We have the Maryland Panthers versus the Texas Rattlesnakes. Our men's gold game is the Manticores versus King Cobras. Follow that will be determined by the winner and loser of games today. Of this game, excuse me. As Cook will throw a gap to gap shot blocked by Ferguson. As Ferguson will take the ball here. Gonna go for that gap again. Blocked by Hooking and Cook. By the way, when Ohio made their substitutions, very, very first thing I noticed was Hooking t decided to take the point here. Cook on the right and Cowan on the left. Alright, we'll take the ball. It's gonna try Cowan. Blocked by her. Very good block. And her teammates support her. And as Cowan hits the, f I would say that's the five, the outstretched hands of Hyatt. She bit very hard to her right gap. Hooking with the spin bouncer, testing Hyatt's bounce defense. It is blocked and collected by her. Ferguson takes the ball. Trying that gap again. Blocked by Hooking. You could hear how good of a block that was on that one. As Cook will take it from the right wing. She's going to go for a 93 it looked like. Ball is ball over as Hyatt blocked it forward. As... Ladies and gentlemen, um, if you happen to see the scoreboard in the gym, that current score is incorrect. Um, so if you would please refer to the blue scoreboard in the top left. As Cook takes the ball, it is going to be blocked by Hyatt, who gives it to Ferguson, her high school teammate. Ferguson with the bounce ball, testing Hooking's range. As Ferguson will be denied. That was a great ball from Ferguson and great ball blocked by Hooking. As we'll get another thrown ball from Code Blue. Looks like that's going to be Clark. Hooking with the spin throw. Out of bounds.
as we have a um, code blue timeout here. So ladies and gentlemen, we're currently trying to correct the error at the scores table. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, the scoreboard on the gym is now correct. As Ferguson, bounce ball from her. Hooking quickly. Let's go. Looks like Cook has taken the center. Hooking on the right wing. And Calvin still on the left. Combination block of Hooking and Cook. Mindy will take the ball from the right wing as they actively switch again. Blocked by Clark and Hyatt. 101 on the clock here as we enter the last seconds of this game. Blocked by Cowan as Coach Keith Young of Ohio calls a timeout. So it looks like, ladies and gentlemen, if no more goals are scored in this game, our women's Browns game will be Texas versus Ohio, and our women's gold game will be Minx versus Code Blue. However, I would like to reiterate that anything can happen in goal ball in the last minute of a game. So let's stay on the edge of our seats, grab some popcorn and drinks, as we watch the final 56 seconds. As Hooking takes the ball. Low gap shot. Blocked forward. Collected by Hyatt. As she throws it out of bounds. Forty nine seconds here. Both coaches communicating very well to their teams. As Cook takes the ball, lots of drive on the ball. Blocked by Hyatt. I likes to take it herself from the seven. Ooh, Cowan did not get down, but she pushed the ball out of bounds. So she saved that one. Hooking with a speedy demon of a ball. Gets it to Ferguson. As we have a full 10 seconds here for Code Blue as um, the officials remind the other half of the gym to be quiet. Ferguson, big bounce ball. Blocked by Hooking, out of bounds. Pursued, pursued by Cowan. Hooking takes the ball, bounce ball. Blocked by Ferguson. Six seconds on the clock here, all she has to do is hold the ball. She actually throws it, blocked by Hooking. Quickly lets one go. Tries to beat the buzzer and she could not. This game has wrapped up here. Five to three, Code Blue as the victors. We'll be right back with you ladies and gentlemen for the men's bronze game. It is gonna be the Texas Rattlesnakes versus the Maryland Panthers. We'll be back with you momentarily.
Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to our men's bronze medal game. Thomas Royce back at your commentating. As we get underway here in the next 35 seconds as we finish eye shade checks. Just wanted to let you know the rosters of these two teams. On table left we have the Texas Rattlesnakes and on table right we have the Maryland Panthers. The Panthers lineup is going to include Alvin Suarez, Shadon Cash, Lamar Brown, Jerron Black, and Kelvin Atkins. For the Rattlesnakes we have Jim DeBus, Will Lopez, Zach Armbiora, and Dan Thurston. As we hear the Rattlesnakes get together for their on-court cheer, this game will get underway. Looks like the Rattlesnakes are going to be starting the following players here. We have a number change for the Rattlesnakes. Looks like... Will Lopez will be wearing the number three today. As the Panthers start with a big bounce ball blocked by Jim DeBus. Saved by Will Lopez. Will with his own ball blocked by the center. Atkins for the Panthers blocks the ball. Brown will take the shot. Brown is blocked by number six, Zach Armbula. Jim DeBus will take the ball and quickly usher it out of bounds. Excuse me, I was incorrect. Jerron Black with the ball. He's going to block the ball. Looks like that ball was blocked by Will Lopez. Will Lopez will take the ball here. Quick spin throw. Blocked by Atkins. As Atkins lets one go, it is blocked by number six of the Rattlesnake, Zach Armbula. Zach will release the ball here, and it is blocked out of bounds by Shadon Cash. As Cash will take the ball here, quickly lets one go for the gap. It is blocked by Armbula. Armbula will take the ball here from his center. Big bounce ball from him, blocked forward and out of bounds by Shadon Cash. My apologies, my apologies to Shadon. I did not realize that it's Kosh. So Shadon, my apologies, bud. As Jim DeBus will take the ball. Low skipper from him. Blocked by Jerron Black. Jim with the block. Aaron Buell goes up to get it. Bounce pass to Lopez. Low line drive skipper blocked by Atkins. Ball is thrown out of bounds by Kelvin. As Lopez will take the ball from the three gap. Blocked forward by Kelvin. Who gives it to Kosh? Kosh is going to release quickly. Blocked up by Armbula. Well, 
Ryan Bieler takes the ball from the left wing, goes with the line shot. Beautiful line shot blocked by Kosh. He goes up and gets it and gives it to Kelvin. Goes the big skipper blocked by Lopez with that top leg of his. Releases from the right wing. Big bounce ball blocked by Jerron Black. Black quickly releases. Blocked out of bounds by Ron Bula. Quickly pursued by Lopez to ensure. As Jim the bus takes the ball here. Bounce ball out of bounds at about that team line for the Panthers. As Black takes the ball here from his gap. Big bounce ball blocked by Jim. The bus with the ball here. It's going to release it out of bounds again at the team line. It looks like to me that his right arm is just slightly getting away from his body. And so it's just facing out of bounds. If he can get a little bit closer to him, I think he can keep it on the court. However, that is just my observation. As the bus takes the ball here. We see him keep it closer to his body this time, almost as if he heard me, and kept it on the court, blocked by Black. Black roves over to the right side. Kosh clears out, blocked by Armbula. Great way to stay home. Hands it off to Lopez directly. Bounce ball from him, blocked by Kelvin. As Atkins throws the ball, blocked combination from Lopez and Armbula. Armbula takes it from the center, bounce ball from him, blocked by Atkins, handed to Kosh. As you hear him whop the ball, great speed from Kosh. As the bus will take the ball here. Ooh, as Jim the Boss gets the first goal of the game in that nine post corner. Just gets it right past Jerron Black. Bit into the gap, just a little too hard. We'll see what the Panthers do here. Black rolls to the right side. Big ball from him, blocked by Arm Bula. As it's elected to be a ball over from our official David Wilborn. Big bounce ball from Black. Blocked by Lopez. Great secondary defense. Got right past the arms of Armin Bula. Lopez takes the ball here. Goes for that gap. Blocked forward by Atkins. And it's going to be a ball over. Great defense from these two teams starting out with 519 on the clock. Jim the bus with the ball. It's going to hit that seven gap. Blocked laterally out of bounds by Atkins. As Shadon rolls to the right side. It's going to be blocked by Armbula. Collects it himself and looks to throw it from his center hash. Smooth ball from him. Blocked by Shadon and Atkins combination. 4.51 on the clock here, Shadon testing Jim the bus's defense. Looks like it's locked down at the moment. As the score is still 1 0. As the bus goes for that 9 hole again, looks like he'll be denied by throwing it out of bounds. As Kruk and Buck were saying yesterday, if you throw out of bounds, what is the probability that you score? There's only one correct answer, and that's 0%. As the bus hands the ball to Lopez. As the ball is blocked, collected by Atkins, the center, who reaches behind him and lets one go for the gap. Blocked by Arm Bula. Who hands it off to Lopez? 
Let's one go for the line. Started out of bounds, but went back in. Looks like Jerron Black will take the ball here. Big bounce ball for him, testing Aaron Buell. He stays down low. Rolls over to the right side. Aaron Buell takes the ball. It's going to go for that seven hole. Deny Hopkins as the ball is blocked out of bounds. Hand off to Shadon, blocked by Jim DeBus, who pursues after it. DeBus hands it off to Armbula. Gonna go with the spin throw. Three hopper from him. Atkins denies that top arm. Great bounce of defense from that Maryland center. As Shadon will quickly let one go, blocked by Armbula. Aaron Bula takes the ball here. Let's one go himself. Blocked by Atkins' hands. Gives it to Jerron. Hits a 13. Blocked by Aaron Bula. Loses control of the ball. Ball over. Probably a relief for the Laddle Snakes there. I mean, they lose... They lose a um, offensive position. However, they're saved from any type of 10-second penalty that may have happened. As we have an equipment check timeout here, 3-0-1 on the clock here. Still a 1-0 affair here in the men's Browns game between the Maryland Panthers and the Texas Rattlesnakes. The Panthers will have the ball here. Black throwing from his left wing. Bounce ball from him, blocked by Aaron Bula. The Rattlesnakes have shown up the play today. Excellent defense from them. Blocked up and forward. Atkins gets the ball. Smooth spin throw from the number eight of the Panthers, Atkins. Lopez rolls over to the seven gap. Skipper from him, blocked. Saved by, looks like Kosh. He's going to give it right back to Black. I mean, Viola goes up and gets the ball. Gives it to Lopez as Texas will call their first time out of the half here. 2-14 on the clock here. Still a 1-0 affair. We'll be right back with you in 30 seconds, ladies and gentlemen. As these coaches can duck their timeout. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, this time that's coming to the end. The Rattlesnakes will have the ball here. The bus gets rid of it very quickly. Blocked by Atkins. Gives it to Kosh. Blocked by the bus. Saved by the bus. Yes, we have an equipment check from the center of Maryland. Finally getting a little lively here in the gym. With 2.02 on the clock. Very quick exchange between these two teams offensively. Lopez has the ball. Armin Buell is right in front of him. Armin Buell realizes it sidesteps. That was a close one. Just a little lack of miscommunication there. Atkins quickly lets one go. Collected by Armin Buell. Gives it to Lopez. Sets up. Throws it. Gap to gap shot. Blocked by Black. Bounce ball. He goes for the gap to gap. Blocked by Lopez. As it goes out of bounds. Lopez gets the ball. Hands it off to Armbula. Goes over to the three. Hits the three. Bounces up and over. I th saves by Shadon Kosh. 
I thought that was a goal for sure, but great backup defense by him. And the Panthers will call their first time out here with 138 on the clock after saying to give their team a bit of a rest and to give them some time to calculate their next shot. Give them time to reset, refocus. Because after a save, you generally want to get rid of the ball quite quickly. So by using a timeout here, the Panthers can give themselves time to set up something they want to do. Ashton Kosh will have it on the right wing on that nine post. If I'm him here, I'm looking at a 99. However, he goes with the 93. As we have an equipment check on the rattlesnakes. As the game will resume here. The bus has the ball on the right wing. Lopez moves over. Gap to gap. And that's going to go right in. Gets it right past Jerron Black, who bit the line just a little too well. As it is now a 2 0 affair with one minute exactly on the clock. As game play resumes, Kosh with the ball. Looks like he hit a. 88. The bus with the ball. Blacked out of bounds. John Black will have the ball. Throws over to his 7. Bounce ball. It's a 7. Gets it right in. Jim the bus. And Texas will let in the first goal of the game with 38 seconds left. A 2 1 affair now. Rattlesnake still holding on to the lead. As we have an official's clarification. Hold on, ladies and gentlemen. This might get real interesting. They might be discussing a potential high or long ball penalty. Let's see what the referees rule here. Looks like the goal will stand. Lopez will have the ball. Let's one go quickly. Bounces up and laterally and out of bounds. Black will have the ball here. It's a 13. Out of bounds by Lopez. So two to one affair here. Panthers have their first goal of the game. As we have a quick exchange of defensive stops. The game will resume now. Looks like Armbula will have the ball. S throws it from the right wing. Hits body on the five. Atkins will get the ball to Black. Big bounce from him. Blocked by Armbula. Moves laterally of the team line and we'll go out of bounds. Collected by Armbula, he'll hand it off to the bus. Who will let one go? Hits the five again. Ashton will take the ball. Blocked by Armbula. <laughs> As that ends this first half of commentary here. Two to one score. Rattlesnakes will have the lead. If you're just tuning in, ladies and gentlemen, the remaining schedule for the day has been decided. After this men's bronze medal match. We'll be back with you in 30 seconds, ladies and gentlemen.
All right, ladies and gentlemen, the music in the gym has stopped. Uh, apologies, I had to cut it short. I didn't realize they would be playing music at halftime. As I was saying, the remaining schedule of today's games after this men's bronze medal match is the Manta course will be facing the King Cobras here for the women's bronze medal game. It will be Texas versus Ohio. And the women's gold game will be the Minx, Maryland Minx versus Code Blue, otherwise known as Fota. As we will get underway here. Once again, during the second half, I'd like to thank the United States Association for Blind Athletes for putting on a great tournament and for letting me commentate today's games. And we want to thank the Ability360 Fitness Center here in Phoenix, Arizona for letting us use our, their facilities to host this tournament. And Texas will be starting the ball here in this second half. Remember, this is a 2-1 affair, ladies and gentlemen. Very low-scoring men's game. Which usually indicates it's a good men's game. But the high-scoring ones are fun, too. As Jim DeBus takes the ball from the right wing. Blind shot. Blocked by Black. Usually the first few plays of a second half will determine what kind of second half it'll be. Same way goes for football. Jim to the bus will take the ball here from the three. Low line drive from him, blocked by Atkins. No substitutions here at the half, so both teams will be keeping their starters out. Shaddam with a Stanley Steamer. Thrown by Armbula, trying to get it to Lopez, but just couldn't get on the same page. Shadot will roll over to the left wing. Let's one go. Blocked by Armbula. Ball goes up and in. Panthers will get another score on the board. Ladies and gentlemen, we have ourselves a game. It is now a 2-2 affair with 9-11 on the clock. Looks like Jim DeBus will have the ball here. Goes for the gap, and they're going to return. Fire! Gets it right past Atkins and Shadon. Kosh. It is now a 3-2 game. Rattlesnakes with the lead. Great shot by Jim DeBus. We'll see if that rattles any cages here. Now let's see if the Panthers break out of their cage. Blocked by Armbula. Let's see. Armbula goes for the line. Er, correction. It looks like it was a 51. Blocked by Armbula. Thrown by Kosh. Armbula rolls over the right wing. Moves Lopez. Number six. Let's one go. Hits the bench of the Panthers. As Black rolls over to the right side, moves Kosh out of the way, goes to the line, bouncer shot, blocked by the bus. Looks like the bus could not get control of the ball, so it's going to be a ball over for the Rattlesnakes. Well, awesome possession for them. Looks like Jerron Black will hand the ball off to Shadon Kosh. Who lets one go very quickly, blocked by Jim DeBus. Collected by Armin Bula. Stands in his seven gap. Spin throw from him. Blocked by Atkins. Atkins lets one go. Blocked by the waiting feet of Armbula. Hands it to Lopez. Lopez gets a goal right in on Atkins. He did not stretch his hands out, so it just went right over that bottom arm. As the Panthers will call a timeout here as the Rattlesnakes get that back to a two-lead game. Panthers here calling a good timeout, I'd say. 
here with 7.50 on the clock to regroup defensively. It's a very long game of goal ball, ladies and gentlemen, when you are playing two 10-minute halves. Keeping in mind, Maryland has a bench for this game, so... By the Panthers, if we can keep this a one-score game, I might consider making a substitution here. Perhaps getting Lamar Brown in to give their center some rest. As this timeout's coming to a close here, Jerron Black will take the ball from the center, it looks like. And he indeed will as he throws bounce ball blocked by actually combination block between Jim DeBus and Zach Armbila. Armbila will take it from say about his four. Bounce ball. It's hits the two. Quick pitch from Shadon Kosh. Blocked forward and out of bounds by Jim DeBus. The bus will take the ball from about the three. Let's one go quickly. Blocked by Atkins. Very close one there. Nearly went over him. As he moves the goal. Lines up. Takes a shot at the one. Blocked by Lopez. Excellent block. He'll line up in his eight. Takes a shot for that gap. Blocked by Jerron Black, it looks like, who's now permanently taking the center for the Panthers. So we had a wing switch here. As Armin Buell gets one under his armpit. And the Panthers score another goal. This is now a one-score affair here with 6.30 on the clock. Scores now 3-4. Rattlesnakes with the one-point lead. Jim DeBus will take the ball. Let's one go. Blocked by Atkins as he pushes it out of bounds. Looks like Shadam will take the ball from the left wing. Quickly lets him go. Blocked by Aaron Bula. Aaron Bula will take the ball here. Big bounce ball from him. Blocked by Shadon Kosh. Close one there for Kosh. Got that one arm on it and just got it out of bounds. Speaking of Kosh, he'll take the ball and throw it from the center. Don't think we've seen him throw it from the center today. However, it goes out of bounds at about Jim DeBus's wing line. Speaking of DeBus, he will take the ball. Roll over to the right side here. Bounce ball from him. Goes for that gap. Blocked up and forward. Collected by Brown. He'll take it himself here. Big bounce ball from him. Blocked by Armbula. He's going to go up and get it and bounce pass to Lopez. He's about at a 7-8 here. Bounce pass from him. Excuse me, bounce ball. As Jerome Black will return one of his own in the gap. Combination block from Armavilla and Lopez. Goes for a bounce ball. Hits like an 86, 87. And it's going to be a ball over. Panthers could not get it in time. As Shadon Kosh had to come from the opposing side of the court. The bus will have the ball. Get, hit, gets about the three. Bounce ball from him. Blocked by Atkins. Bounce ball from him. What's one? Or excuse me. Smooth ball from him. Thought it was going to pop up and take off. Lopez has the ball. Skipper from him. And it's going to go right over Jerron Black's legs and in. So it's a 5-3 to fair. Panthers call that substitution I talked about. As number eight comes out, which is Calvin Atkins, number four will be coming in, Lamar Brown. I did call that one. So if Coach Young, you're watching, that's a point for me. We'll see what Omar Brown has in store today as he takes it from the three. 
Bounce ball from him. Goes for the one. Nearly goes in, but recovered by Lopez with the pushback. Lopez goes for the line shot. I think it was wide open. Just goes out of bounds, though, at about that wing line. And if I were Lopez, I'd want to try that shot again. Jerome Black with the throw. Collected by Lopez. Hands it to Armin Bula. A lot of time wasted on that. Needs to get rid of it quickly and does. Blocked by Lamar Brown. For the Panthers now, their lineup from left to right includes Jerome Black, Lamar Brown, and Shadon Kosh. As Kosh takes it from the left wing of Black, it goes out of bounds at about the team line of the Rattlesnakes. The bus will have the ball here. Wanek's throwing it from his three right now. Let's see what it does. Goes for that nine post. Out of bounds at about that wing to goal line region. See, that's what the Rattlesnakes are after right now, and I don't blame them. If I was their coach, I'd see the same thing. As one of the Rattlesnakes player. Sounded like he was in pain. I mean, Biola takes the ball here. Blocked by Kosh, who collects it himself. Pitches it from his wing line, blocked by the bus. Might be a cup check there. As the bus just under rotates a little bit and ushers it out of bounds. Brown lets it go, blocked by Lopez. He wanted to go to the line, but luckily his block in motion stopped the ball. Lopez lets one go towards Brown. Blocked. Gets it. Hands it to Black. Astron Black goes for the line. Don't blame him. Testing the line. Panthers have been after the gaps all game. As the bus rolls to Lopez's side of the court. He'll take it from the right wing. Angle adjustment, and that's going to go in. What a throw from Jim DeBus as he takes the Rattlesnakes just that much farther away from the Panthers. Score is 6-3. to three. Shadon Kosh has the ball. As Shadon Kosh throws it, gets it in the nine pocket. Jim DeBus had the ball on it. But it just was that much better than that defender's hands. As it looks like Lopez has the ball. Not sure what's happening here. So we had an officials timeout for um, facility maintenance as we have a quick exchange between the Panthers and the Rattlesnakes. Absolutely. We'll get to the goal leaders in one second here. Uh, Shadon Kosh has the ball. Let's one go. As we have a timeout called by Texas. So for those goal leaders, Jerron Black and Shadon Kosh are tied at two and two. And for the Rattlesnakes, Jim DeBus has three and Armin Bula has one. T49 on the clock here in the second half of this matchup. It is currently a 6 to 4 game with the Rattlesnakes in the lead. Definitely a close game and we have a premature throw from Texas. They wanted to throw right on play. 
So lost possession for them. Lamar Brown steps all the way out of bounds. Keeps the ball in bounds and throws a long ball. So Lamar Brown will have to defend this penalty shot. The Panthers did a wing switch there at that timeout where Brown moved to the left wing and Black was back in the center. I'm Beal will take the ball out of the center. Brown is set in the center. I'm Beal rolls to the seven. Throws it. Beautiful eight. That's going to be a goal for the Rattlesnakes. Seven to four now. Very interesting call. A gap, a gap shot on the penalty? I like it. Black throws the ball, blocked by the bus. Retrieved by Armin Bula. Low drive spin throw. And that's going to be a goal off of Kosh. His feet were just too low as the rattlesnakes begin to pull away, 8-4. to four. As we have a miscommunication from the Texas side here, they're going to throw it out of bounds. Current updated goal leaders here. Jim DeBus has four, Will Lopez has one, and Zachary Reveal has three for the Rattlesnakes. And for the Panthers, it is a 2-2 tied lead right now. Shadon Kosh and Jerron Black as we have an exchange of fire between the two sides here. As Will Lopez lets one go, and it's out of bounds, caught by the line judge. This for baseball, that player would be out. Kosh rolls to the left side. Blocked by Amrabila. He loses the ball and he's ball over. Amrabila stepping back towards his line. Jerron Black will have another opportunity to get the Panthers back in a manageable frame here as it is blocked by Lopez out of bounds. One forty on the clock here. Jim DeBus with the ball thrown, blocked by Lamar Brown, out of bounds. If you're just tuning into the stream here, ladies and gentlemen, wow! As I was fixing to say that, Lamar Brown gets a goal on Will Lopez. That is Lamar Brown's first goal of the game. Lopez will take the ball from his seven. Gap to gap shot. That's going to go off of Lamar Brown's hands and go in. Will Lopez with his second goal of the game here. It is nine to five here. One, one twelve on the clock here. Quick ball thrown by Kosh, blocked by Jim DeBus. Jim DeBus will take it from about his two. Gonna go cross court, out of bounds. Brown was waiting though. As the Panthers call a substitution, Lamar Brown will be coming out, and Alvin Suarez will be coming into the game. Interesting substitution here from the Panthers, but I absolutely love it to get their um, bench some depth and opportunity to get some experience on the court here. Following this game, ladies and gentlemen, will be the men's gold game, the Manticores versus the King Cobras here. After that, we will be followed by the women's bronze game of Texas versus Ohio, and the women's gold will be the Maryland Minx versus Code Blue. As Jerron Black throws a gap to gap shot that is going to get right past to Armin Beulah. And the Panthers are now looking at 9 6.
pass. Armor Beal lets one go from the three. Blocked by Kosh. Gives it to Black. Very quick passing game here. Big bounce ball from him. Blocked forward by Armor Beal. He's going to get it. Hand it to Lopez directly. Lopez. Straight ball from him. Don't think we've seen that this game. Collected by Suarez. Clears out for Black. But he's going to take it from the center. He's going to hit about that six... Seven region as the rattlesnakes are taking up time by passing the ball via handoffs. Shadon Kosh takes it from the left wing, big bounce ball from him. Back to my Armambula. As Texas will call a timeout here with 11 and a half seconds left here in a 9 6 affair. This game looks all but over for the Panthers. However, it has been quite an interesting men's bronze game. My prediction for this game was way off. However, one section I was right about it is the Rattlesnakes will come out with a victory here. My personal guess was a 10-3 game. So this has been way more interesting than that. As the Rattlesnakes will have the ball here. They can take some time off the clock. They will. As the bus throws it. Maryland with a very quick timeout here. 7.9 seconds left it looks like. Maryland wants to pump one more in. Before this game is over. Let's see if they can do it. Right after this game, ladies and gentlemen, Bill Kellick will be back with you to commentate the men's gold round. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, Jerron Black, big bounce ball, blocked by Armabila. Just hold the ball. Throws it. All he had to do was hold the ball. He bounced it to the ground and then throws it. This game is over, ladies and gentlemen. Nine to six game. We'll be right back with you here in the next five minutes for the men's gold medal game.
And welcome back into Phoenix, Arizona. We are ready for the gold medal game in the men's division of this Southwest Regional Tournament. It'll be between the King Cobras out of the Seattle area versus the Manacores. This game features Tokyo Paralympic teammates Zach Bueller and Daryl Walker going head to head. Bueller for the Manicores, Walker for the King Cobras. And the starting lineups closest to the camera is the Manicores. They'll start with Jordan Main, Josh Wellborn, and Zach Bueller. That is actually the only three athletes on the roster. At the other end of the court, Dylan Pleasance, Nathan Purcell, and Daryl Walker are starting for the King Cobras. Manicores with the ball first. They're huddling up, discussing strategy. Josh Wellborn will take the first shot. He'll travel down to the left post. And spins right down the line, just out. Pleasance might have got a piece of that to knock it wide, but it was hugging the line all the way down the left side. Daryl Walker from the left wing. Cross court off the feet of Bueller and in. Daryl Walker. He's done that a few times this tournament, scoring on the first shot. And the Cobras out in front early, 1 0. Manicor's trying to answer. Wellborn from the left post, straight down the middle, blocked by Purcell. He'll pass it over to the right wing and Dylan Pleasance. Pleasance down the line, but out of bounds. And now Bueller from the center position. Looking gap, blocked by Pleasance. Walker from the left wing looking for the gap and Maine, Jordan Maine kicked his feet out to stop that one. Pats the ball, gives it to Bueller. Zach Bueller down, blocked by Pleasance. There's Pleasance down the middle, that one's stopped by Bueller, hands it off on the left wing to Wellborn. Wellborn. Straight down the line, punched out by the right arm of Dylan Pleasance. That one was heading for the corner. Pleasant saved the tying goal there. Down the middle, blocked by Bueller. And equipment check timeout on Pleasance with 8.43 to go in the first half. Congratulations to the Texas Rattlesnakes, who won the bronze medal game just before this one. Defeating the Panthers. And we're ready to go. It's going to be Wellborn. Centered right down the middle, blocked by Purcell out by the high ball line. He throws it back to Daryl Walker on the left wing. Walker looking for the gap. It pops off of Maine. And off the back of Wellborn. Hard shot by Walker. Maine got a piece of it up into the air. Bounced off the back of Wellborn into the net. And Daryl Walker has scored both goals here early to give the King Cobras the 2-0 advantage. Josh Wellborn from the left, underneath Pleasance. Josh Wellborn throws a dart underneath Dylan Pleasance to get the Manicores on the board. We're two to one. Now Daryl Walker from the left wing, cross court. Stopped by Josh Wellborn. Wellborn down. Oh, that one went into the net, but it was called a long ball. Josh Wellborn with the long ball penalty. He will have to defend this 
penalty throw against Daryl Walker. Walker gets him. He gets him to the. He went to the left. Wellborn slid over, but not enough. And Walker has all three goals to give King Cobras the 3 1 lead. It will now be Bueller from the middle. Bounce ball down the middle, blocked by Purcell. Nathan Purcell with it now. Down the middle, blocked by Bueller. Jordan Main with it, right wing, down the court, popped in the air by Walker. Off his foot, it's rolling towards the net. Dylan Pleasance saves it. Pleasance just gets it down the court to Wellborn, makes the save. Manicor's down. Three to one as Wellborn throws it, gets by Purcell, backing up Pleasance. Finds himself on the court, spinning. Down the court, blocked by Wellborn. Zach Bueller will take this one. Bueller spins. Good. And he puts it up into the corner. Zach Bueller off the arm of Dylan Pleasance into the co left corner of the net. And it's three to two. Darrell Walker with it now on the left left wing, left post. He's going to go down the line. Jordan Main dives and makes the save. Quick return shot by Main. Gets through the gap cleanly. Jordan Main has tied the game at three. We got a good one brewing in this men's gold medal match. All tied up three minutes into the game. A lot of scoring. Now Purcell. Looking to answer for the Cobras, but Wellborn's there. Josh Wellborn now spins straight down, blocked out of bounds by Pleasance. Daryl Walker now travels over to the left wing. Cross court, off the feet of Bueller, wide of the post. Josh Wellborn with it now for the Manicores. Looking for that corner. He gets it underneath Pleasance again. Josh Wellborn has given the Manicores the 4 3 lead. And Coach Jake Chikowski will call timeout as the 3 1 lead for the Cobras has evaporated and turned into a 4 3 lead for the Manicores. Josh Wellborn with two, Jordan Main with one, Zach Bueller with one, as we have 6.17 remaining in the first half. Daryl Walker has tallied all three goals for the King Cobras. Stay with us after this one. We'll get into the women's medal game, starting with the bronze medal match between Texas and Ohio, and that'll be followed by the women's gold medal match, the Maryland Minx against Code Blue. Ready to go here, Daryl Walker from the left wing. Looking for the gap and he's got it clean through the gap. Great timeout call, great strategy for the Cobras. Daryl Walker throws a perfect shot through the center right wing gap. Untouched into the goal, we're tied at four. Wellborn down the line looking for that same spot, but Pleasance just got a piece of that one. That almost went under Pleasance again. Now Dylan Pleasance winds up from the right wing, throws towards center, blocked by, blocked by Zach Bueller. Bueller looking for the post, diving stop by Daryl Walker. Great defensive. Walker now, cross court, stopped by Bueller. That's gonna roll over and be ball over to the Cobras. Now Walker will 
We'll try again from the left wing. Big bounce ball. That's going to be a long ball, however. Too big of a bounce on that one. And Walker will need to defend this one in this tie game with 5.35 to go in the first half. It's going to be Josh Wellborn lining up on the right post. Now he moves down the, the net to the middle. Walker set up in the middle of the net right on the goal line. Wellborn down the line and in. No chance for Walker to get to that one. Josh Wellborn has given Manicores a 5-4 lead on that penalty throw. Nathan Purcell now with it for the King Cobras. Bounce ball down the middle blocked by Zach Bueller. Bueller spins straight down blocked by Nathan, or Dylan Pleasance. He finds it. Gonna throw it straight down the court. Blocked by Wellborn. Wellborn. Oh, long ball call on Josh Wellborn. Chance for the Cobras to tie it back up here. And it'll be Darrell Walker. Throwing against Josh Wilborn. Walker goes for the far post but misses it. Tried to get too precise with that one. Just ticked off the right post. And chance goes by the wayside there. Manicores hang on to the 5-4 lead. It's Zach Bueller now over on the right wing for Manicores. Right down the line, diving stop by Daryl Walker. Walker return throw, blocked by Jordan Main. Main backs up to the net. Left-hander throws it down, Walker's there again to make the stop. Quick return throw towards the middle, Bueller right there. And we have an equipment check timeout. Looks like we need some tape on one of the lines on the far end of the court. 425 remains here in the first half. Manicores 5, King Cobras 4 in this men's gold medal match. <laughs> Repairs have been made. We're ready to go here as Wellborn takes the ball for the Manicores on the left side. Moves towards the middle, straight down Pleasance with the stop. Pleasance return throw, blocked by Wellborn. Wellborn spins, blocked by Nathan Purcell and rolls out of bounds. Ball will be over to the Manicores. Zach Bueller with it now. Spins, looks for the gap, blocked by Pleasance. Gonna roll, that one's gonna go back over. Three straight shots now here for the Manicores. Wellborn with it from the center. Straight down the middle, blocked by Nathan Purcell. He corrals it, throws it back to Daryl Walker. Walker spins, throws cross court, blocked by Wellborn. He finds it by the high ball line, throws it back center. Zach Bueller with it. Spinning shot down the middle. Purcell there to make the save. He'll back up to the net. Spins, throws it down the right side, well born there. Well born, hot shot through the gap, scores Josh Wellborn with his fourth goal of the first half. 
And the Manicores go up by two, six to four with 3.06 to play in the first half. Daryl Walker looking to answer now for the King Cobras. Throws it middle, blocked by Bueller. Bueller finds it, throws it back to Jordan Main on the right wing. Main down the line, blocked by Walker. Walker cross court looking for the post, pushed out by Josh Wellborn. Wellborn now spinning, throwing down the middle, blocked by Purcell. Purcell bop, backs up, bounce ball down the court, blocked by Wellborn. He corrals it. We're going to have an equipment check on the far end of the court. Play resumes. Two and a half minutes to go, first half. Zach Bueller spins, looking for the gap shot, but Purcell dove and knocked it over to the right wing. Dylan Pleasance with it. Cross court shot. Jordan Main there to make the save. Main cross court and well wide of the mark. Daryl Walker with it now. Travels over to the left wing. Spins, looking for the gap. Kick, saved by Jordan Main. Got by Bueller, but Main backing up. Kept it out. Josh Wellborn with it now as we hit the two minute mark. Straight down, blocked out of bounds. 